All right, hi, I'm Michael. I'm Ash. And we're gonna teach you guys a brand new game today called Part, Part A. Now, to play this, you need a deck of cards. Now, we've got school-friendly cards that have 11s, 12s, 13s, and zeros in them. Now, if you don't have these cards at home, you can use a regular deck, jokers being zero, 11s are jacks, 12s are queens, 13s are kings. Now what we've done is we've spread the deck out on the table, and this is an active game. Nash and I are gonna be standing up and moving around, but we've also taken out some, some cards. Now there's no actual number, we've just kind of grabbed a random collection of cards, and we tried to take out more of the bigger ones. But there's no science to that. We just randomly get some cards, we're gonna shuffle them up. Now Nash, yeah. these cards are gonna be our target number. So whatever card I turn over here, that's what we're trying to get. So Nashi, when the target number comes up, what do you need to grab? Um, something, Type of video? something that makes the number, like five, I could get two, and what is a three? Okay, and so it's two cards that add to the number. So it's only addition, it's only two cards. Yes, now, the rule only is, three cards or four cards or five cards. Now the rule is this, once you grab your cards, you put them in little pairs here. I put my cards in pairs over here. At the end of the round, we get to check our opponent's pairs. So if one of us has made a mistake, that per the other person challenges and said, hold on, that doesn't add up to 10. And if I've got seven and two and Nash, you notice it, you get to keep those cards. Every pair you've got that's correct, you get to keep, and that works as like your scoreboard. We ready? Yeah. All right. Okay, our first, I'm gonna stand up for this, Nash. Our first target number is seven, go. I'm happy to stop. I'm not, I need, um, I have to stop. All right, okay, so stop there. Now, what, we're going, to, now what we're going to do is we check each other. So I'll come, okay, so if I come over to you, Nash, and I'll check yours. So six and one, that's seven. Seven and zero. Seven. Three and four. Seven. So they're all in your bank, you keep them. You go and check my ones. One and six, seven, four and three, seven, seven and zero, seven. So do I get to keep all of them? Yep. Beautiful. Okay, so return to your spot. Okay, so those cards that we kept, they're in our bank now. They're face down. We can't lose those points. All right? Yeah. All right, so Nashi, I've got, I think I've got six, two, four. So I've got eight and you must have six. Yeah. All right, we ready? Next round. As soon as it flips over, we go. Okay. Nine. I was hoping it was nine. Okay, so now I'm going to come around and check your cards, Nash. Okay, nine and zero is correct. Eight and one's correct. Seven and two is correct. Six and three is correct. Five and four is correct. You get to keep all of those. Okay, you come over to mine. Have I got a mistake? Seven and three is ten. Okay, now let's stop there. Because that's a mistake, Nash, they go on your pile. That's two uh, points for you. I thought you already knew that seven and three was ten. Put them on your pile? Okay. Eight and one, is that okay? Yeah. Nine and zero, is yeah. that okay? Five and four, is that okay? Yeah. Beautiful. Okay, now, as you can see, our pile in the middle is starting to diminish a bit. So we've probably got enough for one more turn. Okay. And what we've started trying to do is the card in the middle, after we use it, we put it in here, so we've got another card in there. Again, there's no science to this, a bit of trial and error. Once that pile in the middle starts to run down, you might then say that's enough and let's count our cards. All right, are we ready for the last one, Nash? 12. <laughs> so Nashi, we both got 10 and two, is that correct? Okay, so on my pile and your pile. Now, if we look, Nash, at what we've got left in the middle, it's probably time to stop, yeah? Yeah, there's, not, there's probably not enough cards for another round. Would you agree? So, we, you count up your pile, I'll count up my pile, and that's the way we determine who wins. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
I had 16, so Nashi would be our winner. Ooh. Tip in terms of setting this game up, one thing I've noticed is when you get your cards out to make your pile for the target number, it's a good idea to take out a single card or three cards because the fewer pairs you've got in here, the better. So rather than having two tens or four tens, it's good to have three tens. That way, if on the first turn each person grabs a 10, on the second number that comes up, there's only one tear. 10 there, and it's a bit of a race to get to it. Okay, so that's part, part, grab. All you need to play is a deck of cards and a pretty big table, pretty big space to play on. All right? Thanks for watching. Bye, and I'll turn into a robot.